Hey guys, take a look. Got a thermal runaway. I'm going to actually get these every once in a while on this setup here on my old original printer bot. Right over here. And also getting that on Octoprint too. So ID0 typically means the hot end and not the uh, heated bed. So if it was a heated bed, it would be ID1. But um, so I did actually buy some uh, genuine E3D uh, heater cartridge and also the uh, thermosistor, cartridge thermosistor, thermistor. So yeah, I got to rewire it with this thing and uh, get it going. I got to run on that cable chain. But right now I'm using the Chinese like knockoff ones. So that right there and the heater core. But the rest of the, the heater block is actually E3D though. Uh, genuine E3D. So uh, kind of pain in the ass to run the wires back through. But all right. Kind of a headache. I gotta take this whole hot end apart here. To get to the area I need to get to. Yeah, now I gotta pull them all out of this cable chain back to my. You guys ever saw this board? It's a printer ball conversion. I have the Opto coupler here, and I have the SKR 1.1 board with the Trinamic 2208 drivers. That's the thermistor. That is the heater cartridge. I pull all the way back out. I do actually like how they already have the tips on there. All right, time to get that threaded through. All right, so time to get the thermistor going. I do actually like how they put those connectors on there. We can separate them so you don't have to run a whole new wire. Um, all right, so I get that fish down through. <clears throat> I actually had to do this already. I don't know if I mentioned this already with this printer. Same thing, the Chinese thermistors, you know, thermal runaway problem. So, okay, so if you're trying to make the wires clean, always make sure you have the hot end done first before you start pulling the slack out. Got so I got this in, thermistor in there. Sorry not to redo the plug there, but all right, put this fan cover back on. All right, so we're back in business. So the moral of the story is you get what you pay for. Um, yeah, these cheap Chinese uh, little thermistors and heat cartridges. I mean, they do last. I mean, it went for about a hundred prints, you know. And you can buy like a ten pack of these things or eight of these things for like ten bucks. But uh, but yeah, it's too much of a headache to rerun all this stuff, man. So. Uh, that's my only suggestion is just to get the good stuff if you can, if you can afford it. You know, save you a headache in the, in the long run, less headaches in the long run. So, alright, cool.